All right, guys. Hey, uh, I just wanted to take a moment to kind of talk about uh, my experiences with these two uh, tool carts. Uh, I see a lot of uh, questions in the forums and on Facebook. You know, hey, which one's better, the uh, the Husky tool cart or the U.S. General tool cart? I thought I'd just uh, weigh in and give you my two cents on it. And uh, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that. Uh, if you have either one, you're, you know, you're going to be happy. Neither, I mean, there's not one where you just go, oh, well, this is a, you know, a complete piece of crap. I wish I'd have got the other one. Nothing like that. I ended up with two of them just by happenstance. Uh, the Husky was on sale around, uh, I think it was, uh, Christmas time. And my wife bought me, uh, this for Christmas. And so I, uh, <clears throat> you know, I've had it since Christmas or whatever. And uh, I filled it up pretty quick. I had it uh, filled up to the brim, and I needed more space. And then recently, Harbor Freight had the you know the uh, parking lot sale, and I got this one uh, super cheap. So I want to go over kind of the differences, and at the end, I'll tell you which one uh, I would buy again if I were going to buy a tool cart. Which one of these two tool carts would I buy? A second time which one do I think is better so <clears throat> and I've been using them both they both have uh, a fair amount of use on them uh, so let's kind of kind of go over it so the first thing is is basically the assembly of the uh, the tool cart if you're looking for the simplest assembly like you're not big on taking a whole lot of time to assemble something and you just want it to go together as quick as possible. The Husky is the winner there. These are put together with just uh, regular screws. These are Phillips screws. And they have riv nuts on the inside that are attached to the, to the frame. And you just simply screw these uh, regular screws in. I, I went the extra mile and I put Loctite on every one of these just to make sure they stayed. And down here, like you see, you might be able to see this, but you'll see things like this where there's just one screw here and they've got, you know, basically they kind of clip together. This hook goes through here, the, the screw holds it, and there's a couple of places where that goes down. So as far as ease of assembly, uh, you're hard pressed to shake a stick at the Husky. It's much easier to put together. Whereas over here with the U.S. Uh, General, these are uh, basically uh, captured nuts. They have a, uh, a shank on them. They go through a slot where they, you know, that holds this side. And then you put a nut on the back side of every one of these. That's how this whole thing is put together. So it just takes, you know, quite a bit more time. And, and in a couple of places, the paint... <clears throat> was was too thick and it actually made the uh, you know these slots the wrong size and I had to you know tap them in with uh, with a little hammer to get them to go into the hole like they're supposed to mostly that happened down here for the wheels the wheels are uh, where that happened the most I think the rest of it went together as planned <clears throat> so so uh, when it comes to assembly you, you can't beat the husky it goes together much better and um, as far as uh, features, and I guess this is just your mileage may vary, whatever you like. This one's got five drawers with, uh, you know, with a double stack one right here. And this one is, you know, half drawers here and then two full drawers. I think they hold a, about the same amount with the advantage slightly going to the U.S. General. The U.S. General does hold slightly more. Uh, they have two options for the Husky, though. You can buy it without the accoutrement, which just comes with the uh, the tray for your side stuff here. It comes with this tray, or you can get it where it comes with, uh, you know, the side, you know, the side fold-out tray. It comes with that. Mine came with that. I didn't have to buy that extra, and it also comes with this pegboard. And the pegboard, I really like. That's a feature that I really uh, like. And the US General does not have a pegboard. It has what, you know, you know, you think is a pegboard on the side, but it does not have a pegboard. So 
that's just one of the things that I personally uh, don't like about it. You can see that the bottoms are about the same as far as the amount of space and stuff that they hold. They're almost exactly the same dimensions. The US General is slightly taller by, you know, maybe an inch or something if we measured it. Don't, don't take the way this looks to be, uh, it's an optical illusion because my floor is slanted like this. This one's lower. And I've, of course I have them leveled out. So both boxes are leveled out, but this is lower on the floor than this because my driveway was poured by somebody who smokes a lot of crack. So that's how that happened. So <clears throat> let's move on to uh, a couple of other differences. Uh, one of the other differences is this toolbox, this cart, you can open the drawers even with the lid closed. Now, personally, I really like that. That's something that I like. Um, and over here on the US General, you cannot, you cannot open the drawers with the lid closed. The lid has to be up. And then there's also, you know, these individual catches that, that the drawers uh, catch closed. And I guess, like I said, that's just one of those things either you, you're gonna like or you're not gonna like, whatever the case may be, but that's just a difference. And personally, uh, I like being able to open the drawers with the lid closed. That's just me, I don't want to open up the lid, but it's that's a minor thing, who cares, right? They both come with all the liners for all the drawers and the bottom. Uh, am I lying about that? Hold on. Oh, I'm lying about that. This one does not come with the with the liner for the base. For the very bottom, it comes with all the other liners. Same with this one. This one, I'm sorry, has a liner on the bottom. So this one comes with one liner more than this one. Um, as far as the wheels go, I would say uh, they're about the same. I, don't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't think that there's much difference between either one as far as wheels go. And the uh, these uh, like uh, hydraulic devices here, you know, that hold the lid open. They're definitely more. Uh, there's, there's more oomph on the US General. This one kind of kind of opens and you kind of, you know, you have to go about right there. But again, that's like, who cares? You can tell that these are definitely smaller than these. Um, let's see, is there any other differences? They both have the same kind of features. You've got your screwdrivers on the sides, screwdrivers on the sides, but with this one, when you put like a pry bar or something into one of these holes right here, it has a second row. Uh, let me get you some light. You can't see. My garage is terrible. Sorry about this, guys. I try to make videos as quickly as I can. But see, there's a second row. Let me get, get you in there. Can you, can you make that out? But anyway, there's a second row of holes that the pry bar goes into and on the on the uh, US General there is not it's just open again what do you prefer blah 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 blah. I, I mean I, I don't really think it makes that much difference but to me I like having this second row of holes because I put stuff directly into those bottom holes and for me it kind of holds almost twice as much so that's kind of what I'm thinking on that. Let's see here. Anything else? Um, is one of them more sturdy than the other? Yeah, I would say, you know, I would say that the US General probably is a little bit uh, built a little bit more sturdy. I mean, but barely, barely. I mean, you're not gonna really notice much difference. I think they're, you know, <clears throat> you know, apples and, you know, apples and apples here. They're very uh, comparable. Um, which one has the best drawers? Uh, 
These slide, I think, really good. I like I like the way those go. And these over here also slide extremely nicely. No problem there. So I think that's that's a wash and there's no difference. It really kind of just depends, honestly, what deal you can get on these carts. Like, let's say this is full price over here at like almost 300 and this one is 258 because I think that's what this one goes for, thereabouts. Should you get this one when that one's almost 300 I would say, yeah. <laughs> that Because that's what... That's what my wife did. She she bought this one because this one was like almost 300, 290 or something. And so that's why we got this one. And you wouldn't be you know, you wouldn't be sad that you got this one and not this one. Uh they hold almost the, the exact same amount. As you can see, this is what I'm talking about. The inside is put together with rib nuts and the inside of this one is put together with these Chinese bolts uh, everywhere. The whole box is put together with nuts on the back. I personally prefer that uh, over the riv nuts. Neither one of them uh, does it really make a difference. I never got the side cart for this one because you can see there's no room for it anyway. But uh, paint and finish, I think they're about the same. Uh, I got the white over here, so I guess it kind of shows flaws more uh, more readily. Mine came with a little uh, nick right here, which is, you know, again, not a big deal for me. And the the Husky didn't have any imperfections that, that I noticed or whatever. Another thing that I want to mention is when you bring this lid down, it kind of rubs on this tray. And yeah, could I get in there and fix that and bend the metal? But you see how that goes to down? I mean, you got it's kind of catching on this. And I, I, in order to fix this, I would have to, you know, you know, kind of modify and bend or whatever and tweak. But again, not a big deal. I could care less about that myself. But maybe you do care about that. This one fit together beautifully. This one has no handle uh, for the lid. There's no handle, and the uh, U.S. General has a handle. So when it goes down, there's the handle. Okay, so that's about the differences, and, and, it, and it's really up to you. Like I said, you buy either one, you are not going to be upset. Um, they're both fine. Um, but if I were going to buy another one, and they were the same price, I would get the U.S. General. If they were not the same price and they're, you know, normally the difference that they normally are, like this is 258 with the tray and everything you see and the uh, pegboard, all of this for 258 and this one's 300, I'm getting this all day. Um, that's not a cop out. I'm just telling you, they're close enough that I'm not going to pay more for this when this is 258 this is close to 300 but if they are the same price and that's not a factor or this one's less money like during a, a parking lot sale or something i'm buying the u.s general all day just because i personally like these these uh drawer catches i know some people hate these and take them out i like these so i like that and i like this drawer configuration uh better than this one uh, but not by much, not by enough to care. And I also like how this one is put together with the bolts. So anyway, hope that helps you guys out some. And uh, please comment, like, subscribe, and I'll make more of these videos for you. I got, I got a lot of tools, and you might be interested in some of them and what I think of them and whatnot. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks on that end.